Hello everyone, and welcome to my review of the Hunting Horn and Hammer teaser trailers that we just got on Capcom's Twitter. Of course, these are going to be for the Iceborne expansion. Before we begin the Hunting Horn and the Hammer, I want to address some of the comments that were left on the previous video that talked about the Sword and Shield. People were a little upset that I didn't go more in depth with the Sword and Shield moveset. Let me explain why. It's because I said it doesn't look like it's changing that substantially. So the first thing I want to point out is I, I know that there have been changes to the Sword and Shield. I sat there and I watched the trailer for like five minutes on repeat to, to try and absorb it all, right? The first thing is that Clutch Claw jump, I promise you, is going to do terrible damage. I've done a ton of frame testing with the weapon's move sets up to this point, hours of it. Any time a move has utility in Monster Hunter World, it does terrible damage. That's a fact. I haven't had a single utility move do good damage. They all do bad damage. So the cool looking jump is just that. It's cool looking. When it comes out, we can see if it does substantial damage, and then we'll know if it's a move that you're probably going to use. We'll know at that point. Uh, the next thing, the new combo, right? What does he actually do? He jumps in, something you can already do with the sword and shield. It has, a, it, it has an approaching move. He chops, he bashes, two things you can already do with the sword and shield, and then he leaps out of the fight. Now, the leap out of the fight is new, but the previous sword and shield moveset on the base game had a move called backstep. Backstep has a knife frame that you can use to dodge the monster. It has a charge, you can charge the move, and then it can lead into the shield bash. So it had a really nice attack loop that you kind of had to be really skilled at to take most advantage of, right? Using the backstep to get the iframe, frame, that's something that experts could really pride themselves on. I don't know anything about this new moveset. You just jump in, slash, chop, bash, and then you jump out, I guess, and it actually seems, I, I don't want to upset anyone. To me, not only does it not seem very different from what we already have, it doesn't even seem more exciting, to tell you the truth. I thought that seeing really skilled players get the iframe on the back hop and then turn it into a, sh a falling shield bash, that was really exciting for me. What you see in the trailers that the character just flips off the monster now, that's not that exciting to me. It's a teaser trailer, so we'll know more later in the future. Maybe there's certain qualities, characteristics, and damage outputs to the move that are actually more exciting than we know right now, but I'm not trying to make those assumptions. All right, let's move on to talking about the Hunting Horn trailer. So the narrator mentions right away that we're getting new buffs, and we actually see two buffs in the trailer. There's something called an Echo Wave. It appears to knock over Beatotas a second time, even though he's already out of the ground. All right, that looks promising. The question is, is who's it gonna affect? Right now, the Sonic Waves, which is kind of like the same move, except probably weaker, uh, Sonic Waves only works on Diablos and Black Diablos, as well as Lavasiath and Gyrotodus. Well, Beatotus is part of that group, right? Gyrotodus, Lavasiath, Beatotus. So we don't have any new information about whether Echo Waves is going to be useful against anyone other than fishes and possibly Diablos, Black Diablos, right? So we don't have any new information on that. Uh, but also, the second buff we see is a green healing orb. I think this will make Hunting Horns feel more like a support weapon, but I think actually this is going to disappoint people who are really dedicated to the weapon, who are more interested in seeing how it's going to uh, have a buff that competes with the attack of extra large buff, right? So when you're picking out a Hunting Horn, I guarantee you it's a bad hunting horn unless it has that attack up extra large buff or something very close to it, like you have the Lunastra Sticks. Okay, Lunastra Sticks gives all wind pressure negated. That's good against Arch-Tempered Kushala de Aura, and it also gives you an attack up large. It's not an extra large, but it is a large. So people are going to be interested in knowing how do the new buffs compete with the attack up extra large. The trailer does not reveal this, so we don't actually know. The other big reveal for the hunting horn in this trailer is that you're getting a new hunting horn attack where you spin the hammer in front of you. Now, this doesn't appear to have that much range. Uh, also, how exactly is it going to work with motion values? Is this going to be a move that does much better elemental damage and ailment damage? And the question is, how does that fit in with the rest of the move set? So in general, with hunting horns, you go for raw damage because it's a high motion value weapon and it doesn't really get good elemental damage output because of its attacks, they're too slow, right? Well, this move's going to have a lot of small attacks come out very rapidly. Could you abuse this for an elemental damage build potentially? I, I don't really I don't really see any other signs that you could do that 
which could mean that this move doesn't actually do that much damage. However, it doesn't appear to be a utility move, right? Like I was mentioning with the Sword and Shield utility moves, uh, they, they generally don't do damage. In fact, what we know about this spinning attack is that it has a very, clearly it has a very short range. So there's potential that this is actually a very high damage move. So that's exciting. We won't know more about how it fits in with the rest of the move set until we can test it for ourselves. Uh, but it, it looks promising at least. I'm betting that they gave up one of the Note 1 movesets. What did Note 1 had? It had the forward swing, and then it had the left swing, I believe. We know it's not a performance because he actually uses it as a regular note attack. When he's attacking Beatotus, he's queuing up a melody so that he can go into a performance. Also, like all the other weapons, the Hunting Horn, of course, is getting a grapple attack with the new Clutch Claw, and the animation looked pretty cool. So, really, the big changes to the Hunting Horn were simply, we know we're getting new buffs, we don't know if any of them will compete with Attack of Extra Large, the two shown in the trailer definitely won't, but they look like they're stronger versions of what we already have. So, like, the, the Echo Wave and the Healing Orb both look like they're probably more useful than the Sonic Waves and Heal Medium plus Antidote that we have on a similar Anjanath Horn. And then uh, we have the new spinning attack, which is probably going to replace left swing on note one, if I had to guess. Finally, we get to talk about changes to the hammer. The hammer, of course, is also one of my favorite weapons. So hunting horn and hammer in the same video, what luck. Uh, what actually changed here? Not much. What we see is you've got the slinger pod ammo that you can fire while charging the brutal big bang. That's nice. It's exactly the same as the greatsword. And then other than that, we notice that the the grapple with the clutch claw can actually be used at the end of Brutal Big Bang. And then while you're going in with that grapple, you actually go into a midair spinning bludgeon. Now here's one of the problems I have with that. What if the monster is on the cusp of being KO'd and when you go in with that grapple, the midair spinning bludgeon actually gets you the KO before you get to tenderize the monster with your mount attack. So that's just a, a small thing. It looks cool, but in practice, it may end up screwing up one of your fights and actually causing the monster to be KO'd too early before you get the tenderizer, right? So just a small note, I don't know if any of you guys thought about that when you saw it, but that's what I was thinking when I, when I saw it. And that's it. I didn't see any other changes to the hammer, and again, I'm perfectly fine with that because I love hammer the way it is. All right, well, that's my review of the new teaser trailers. I can't wait to learn more about these new moves, hopefully at E3. What do you guys think? You think we'll learn more in E3? E3 is just around the corner. All right, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.